because I, I was looking for the video. You and BG, y'all standing in front of some house. Whose house is that? I come through out my arm and nigga, a living nigga. If you ever try to play me, know that it ain't gravy, nigga. So, <laughs> where's that damn house? <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Let me ask you about this song, man. Y'all got out. You and BG just did a hell of a movement when it come down to, Thank you. you know, y'all went crazy. Like, is the is the video out yet? It just came out Friday. Cause I was, well, I was just saying, man, because I, I was looking for the video. You and BG, y'all standing in front of some house. Whose house is that? I come through out my arm and nigga. A living nigga. If you ever try to play me, know that it ain't gravy, nigga. So... Where's that damn house? This is a funny story. Um, so BG was in jail with the people's son. They had a family reunion. So BG brings the whole video set to the people family reunion. Shout out to the Richardson family. <laughs> they fool was so fire and they show love. Like we brings a whole video shoot to wow. the people family reunion. And they fed all y'all. I come through out my arm and nigga. A nigga, nigga. If you ever try to play me, know that it ain't gravy, nigga. They fed everybody. And so y'all kicked it at the house and everything. We that was our people, the Richardsons. Wow. So let me ask you this. When you when you, when y'all did this song together, and shout out to BG. Shout you, out to let BG. me just say this. You didn't check in when you came to Dallas. Boss Talk 101 is here. I got peaches in the building, so you already gonna be spotlighted on the show. So it don't matter if you pull up or not. Um, but I'm gonna be real with you. I told you to send that nigga that picture of me and him on I, that yep, wall. Yep. Make sure you send that to him, and then I'm gonna give you the other picture where me, him, and Birdman was together when I came yeah, the way to New Orleans I'm on, my own, on, my, on my own dollar <laughs> I put my money at that Cadillac we drove down there and uh, basically me and him standing in uh, what, what what's uh, uh, Birdman's mama name uh, Miss Gladys. Gladys, we standing in the me him. Put that and, on Miss Gladys. Yeah, we standing in the place together where I presented Birdman with a picture, a big old portrait. Oh wow, it was dope. And he was like, "Man, yeah, man, I sure wish you'd get me one of those, bro. You think I can get one of those? Not if you don't come by Boss Boso. Talk. You gotta you come not by Boss Talk. Get one of those. You know you what I'm saying? Come to Boss Talk. <laughs> but at any rate, just him. Uh, he dope. Like I said, I, I always rock with BG ever since day one. Um, just a dope dude. Real one. Real solid dude. Shout out. I had Henry to hit him up. I had Menace to hit him up. And I had, who else, baby? Oh, Rude Jude to hit him up. All since he been here in Dallas. So I know the nigga Noah, a boss talk is here. Yeah, I got to give him that. I'm going to give him that <laughs> hell of a shout out. That that hurt. Boy, listen, that'll spank you right there. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you See, know. You went through all of them. You didn't go to the real one. Oh, yeah. That's all right. If you'd have came to me, I'd have said something You know what? For. You'd have made it happen. See what I'm saying? And I he always won't go to the mother nigga. <laughs> shout out to little soldier Slim for trying to uh, uh, put these boulders up, talking about he can make it happen. I should have came straight to you. When y'all need yeah. to spy who you can't. <laughs> when y'all came to New Orleans, you need. I had to come with you. That's right. If you won't go to the mother niggas. <laughs> No, I just, I enjoyed seeing y'all on the track together. What inspired that, and how did you and BG hook up to do that track? Um, so, so I'm going to go all the way back to the recording of it and everything. Don't try to leave I out I ain't going to leave nothing out because this is such an interesting story. So we hadn't, we only had talked to him when he first came out, like on FaceTime. Okay. We only had talked to him. But he always keep on saying, send me a track, send me a track, send me a track. So we finally got to see him when he came to the concert that ministered through in New Orleans. That was the first Welcome Home BG concert mm -hmm. in New Orleans. We finally got to see him. Uh, yeah. So he like, when you going to send me a song? When you going to send me a song? When you going to send me I'm like... At this time, I'm going through it. I don't really want to do music no more. I'm not having fun with the shit no more. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm at my studio, and I get this beat from Petrowski. Shout out to Petrowski. Shout out. Shout out to Petrowski. So I get this beat. I'm like, man, I'm listening. I'm like, I, I like this beat. And I'm like, you know, we come in like an almond nigga. And I think about him because, you know, that's his shit. And I'm like, man, this shit sounds so good. Let me send it to Jizzle. So I hop on it. It's like. Got to be like 1 o'clock in the morning. I got to go to work at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm on the road. Actually, I'm in my car and I'm smoking. And I'm on the way to work and I make the first verse of it. And once I made the first verse of it and I sent it to him, he just, and when he sent it back, it just was like, what the fuck? Wow, he went off on it. it I, I would say this is one of his best verses since he's home. Money making is my thing, nigga. Pink, I rich. We back in 96. 
six, nigga, been head stitching, head stitching. Wow, and you, it's your song. It's my song, isn't that crazy? That's hard, nigga, that's hard, nigga. don't do no pocket watching. We get stuck when we spin it. Just that ball apply, Don't do no pocket watching. We get stuck when we spin it. Just that ball apply, We get stuck when we spin it. Just that ball apply, We sit slow on the hitty. That's hard, man. Like, it's so crazy because it's what everybody's like. You deserve it, though, baby. I'm excited. You deserve it. I feel like. I've put so much energy into just trying to bring my brother back to the main light and just put his name in the streets. Like, I worked hard. Like, just going to the street, connecting with people like Monica so they could put him on them streams at them concerts. Connecting with them people and just trying to stay with the fans and give them what they want. They wanted, uh, the streets made me back on, on streaming. I put it back on now. They wanted, you know, they wanted the albums back online. I went and got it and put it back on. Did this, <laughs> did this revive your love for the music? It did. It did. It did because for me, I was always really standoffish. I I'd become really like standoffish at that point because I just felt like you couldn't trust anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but when it came to doing things for my brother, it makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. because I'm meeting people and I'm networking. And I think for me, that's the best part of it. Like okay. I love music all around, like the back doors of it, the insides of it, the outsides of it. I just love it. And I loved when we were in New Orleans and they brought up that big, huge picture mm -hmm. at Essence Festival of him. It, 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 it was, was, it so was just beautiful. It was just How did amazing. that make you feel when you saw that? I was excited. I get excited because, like I said, it's been a lot of work. I just never wanted people to forget about my brother because I felt like, I like to call him a martyr of rap because right. I felt like he died for what he believed when it came to music and what he wanted to put in music. I don't know no other career that my brother has had outside of rap. He mm -hmm. ain't never had no job, no none of that. He just, music has always been, been his, life. his love. So when I feel like if you see that, you see that in your family, you don't let people misuse your family. Right. You don't let people abuse their gifts, their talents. You don't let people take from y'all for their family and that's your people dreams. You don't do that. I love the way how it still makes you feel so teary-eyed, too. Yeah, because I love my you... brother. That's my brother. Like, if you can't, people be like, because she just do too much. No, that's my brother. You yo, you should hope your sister or your brother love you that way. Because I feel like if I wasn't here, he'd be the same way. And like, keep I just found a song that he wrote for me. Really? Yeah. What you gonna do with it? I don't know. Everybody like, you gonna put it out? And yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I might want to keep it just for me. But I'll probably put it out. And everything that I'm doing... Would you, you put that it out I would do or it. would you put it out and put like a an, um a feature on there to make it go even further? Now come on now, girl, you get in my business now. Like, <laughs> my business. <laughs> I want to hear you. See what I mean? Though? So yeah, we just recently came up on a lot of old things uh that we came across for my brother. So a lot of old tapes, Ooh. a lot of old music. That's good. Um, is that the I house? Know it's been there. My mom... And you like, never heard it before. This is the first time you... the first time. There's a I'll pay for it. I'm not I'll pay for it. There's a Make It Bounce remix. That's what it's called? He got, he got a Make It Bounce remix? I never knew that. There, there's a Make It Bounce remix. It has... Who is on there? Fifth Wall Weeby and somebody else. Yeah, that's a Make It Bounce remix. I never knew that in my life. But well, I got and it. And it never came out? I don't think so. I think he might have died before it came out. Wow. And what's the one for you called? It's called Life. Life. Mm -hmm. It's called Life. Do you think that all those gone, would you ever do like a music video, find the lookalike and then put him in there and do Oh, you can do a hologram yeah. or something. Yeah, like a hologram. I, yeah, like a hologram. I'm excited to see yeah. a hologram. I might I might pass out if I seen a hologram do. I would do, because it depends on if you're doing it from like when he was a younger person and then come up to like, because the hologram. I don't, I don't feel like nobody looked like my brother. Really? I don't feel like nobody look like my brother. Well, they be like, because everybody tell me I look like Soldier Slim. Like, I had some like my brother. Well, your, 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 uh, your, your nephew came over and said he had a cousin that looked like your brother. Right, he did he, say my, that. You know what? My little cousin is about the closest you're going to get. That's what he said. Well, that's my big cousin. Yeah, my big cousin is the closest you're going to get. Like, that's like the closest you're going to get. I want to ask you to go back to the BG song. I want you to give me a little bit of the hook and the verse, the way you bring that thing in there. So it goes, you know, I come in like an omen nigga, a navy nigga. If you ever try to play me, know that it ain't gravy. Then I come in. We don't do no pocket watching. We gets dough and we spin it. This that ball of blocking. We sip slow on that henny. This that calling shot shit. That any bitch, they could get it because I'm at they top shit. They talk it though, I be about it probably. Realer than most skills, better than most. So where they at? At they throw, probably making them choke. Don't want the smoke. Put me in a blunt. Watch how I blow to settle the scope. Who they putting up like her is a go? I be really rapping like that. 
because I'm acting like that could really make it happen like that because my people like that. That's when you be reaching like that show you reach for the cash. I don't want to have to let my people know where you at. I be walking on these beats like I be owning these bitches. I ain't can't donate they switch and get along with these snitches. Make sure that when I'm burning these bridges, I do it with vengeance. This is cutthroat business. You know we ain't leaving no witness. Me! I come through out my arm and nigga. A navy nigga. If you ever try to play me, know that it ain't gravy nigga. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.